is our eighth year doing the event, um, and every year we have this uh, very organic demand-driven process. So in March and April, we submit uh, call for proposals um, all around the world for people to submit applications to then present at the conference. You, you get to see people from different parts of the world that have the same struggles. So someone from uh, a developing country, whether in South America, Asia, or Africa, we are pretty much all dealing with the same issues. So I think conferences like this give an opportunity for us to share best practices and sort of get to find out what everyone else is doing and to, to sort of bridge that skills gap that we all have. The, the conference organized by Making Sense International, to me, it's, uh, I think I see it as a, a great opportunity. Um, for really um, gaining inspiration to our future work on youth. Not only youth economic uh, opportunities, but this whole paletto also of, of youth empowerment, youth life skills. Uh, so I get very inspired. Uh, I, I get to, um, to exchange ideas, uh, gain contacts. I think the, the, the key things that conferences like this help with is, is the networking, right? You see people that you have worked with in the past, and you see them and you talk about what you have been working with since then. So it's a, uh, you know, building and maintaining these relationships and keeping kind of tabs on what's going on in the field. Practitioners are all over the globe, and so when you have a designated week one, uh, you know, at one point in the year, this is when you know you get people fly in from posts in Africa or Latin America, Asia, and come together and talk. And it's great to also do it through the workshops, through presentations, but then also through the networking too. So a conference like this gives me a chance to interact with people from around the world, learn from their experiences, and share my own experiences, um, and hopefully better support the growth of entrepreneurship around the world. Coming to an event like this is extremely useful because, you know, of course there are the best practices and collaborative thinking and people's experiences that we understand. So I think the value of an event like this really is bringing together, I'd say, three different institutions. It's you know, government entities like USAID, several NGO partners, and then private sector organizations like mine and Microsoft and Hilton. So I think you know, there's good ideas coming out of all those that sometimes can be siloed. And so having all of us come together along these themes and having the networking opportunities to discuss them offline is incredibly valuable. This summit, in relation to all the other conferences that you could go to within this space, I think the one thing that's different is our focus on very technical, technical, practical content and skill building. Um, but I think the reason why people come back year after year is really because of that very technical content and skill building element of it, and we pack it in. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's a very exhausting two and a half days. Um, and you know we try and, and have enough breaks to have that partnership building, relationship building. But really our number one emphasis is this really demand driven content. So at the end of the day, you can go home and take action immediately.